first, the first name in the first ever taxi cab lottery in the city of Milwaukee. Mohammed A. Nafid, number 179668. Navahan Abdallah, 180312. There was a lottery today for 100 extra cabs. That's great for those 100 winners, but there should be no lottery on the American dream. My name is Anthony Sanders. I'm an attorney with the Institute for Justice. The Institute for Justice and three Milwaukee taxi drivers led a victorious fight against the city's taxi cab cap, having it ruled unconstitutional last year. Now, a year later, the city has changed their ordinance and allowed a hundred extra cabs on the city streets. Although this is not the solution that the city eventually should adopt, which is repealing the cap on the number of cabs entirely, it is a step forward for economic freedom and for consumer choice in Milwaukee. Those cabs will hit the streets in the next month or two. I'm happy for one thing because I got, you know, lucky and big. At the same time, sad because a lot of friends and my colleagues don't have the same luck I have. They should just open it wide open for any person, any driver who wants to make a living just to go on and, and try his luck. Now none of IJ's clients won the lottery. Uh, they only had only a one in nine chance of doing so. But because of them and because of the Institute for Justice's efforts, there will be a hundred extra cabs on the city streets. This is merely the first chink in the armor that we're seeing in the taxi cab cartel. There should be no limit on who wants to go into business. And that's how economic freedom should work. 